Hello, my name is Tyler. I'm with Diesel Laptops. First of all, I'd like to thank you for purchasing your new Texa Diagnostic Scanner. And before we get started hooking up to trucks, I just want to show you a couple quick things that'll make your life a little bit easier when it comes to using this tool. So to start out with, this is your laptop here. Uh, when you open it up, your version will have some paperwork inside of it. You'll see you'll have your Windows product key registration code along with your recovery disk. Do not install this. This is simply for backup and recovery purposes only. You will also notice uh, on the laptop itself, there is a power button right here. And right below that, there's another little switch. And that little switch controls your wireless and your Bluetooth. So our system works via Bluetooth. We definitely want to make sure you do not turn that off. If you do accidentally, you have Bluetooth problems, you flip it back on, you should be okay. All right, so going more here into the actual TXT system itself, everything will be inside this gray suitcase. Let's open it up and go over a couple of the components real quick for you. So as we open it up, the very first thing we'll talk about is the Navigator TXT box. This is the part that will actually hook up to your truck. The important thing we want you to know is that right on it we have a sticker and it has the Bluetooth pin number. Occasionally the laptops will lose the Bluetooth pin number and you'll have to put that in. The pin number is 1234. It even says it right on the sticker. So the question becomes how do you connect this to the truck and it's actually a two piece cable setup. So the first piece we have here is our OBD2 cable. So you'll notice on one end it's a serial connection, the other end an OBD2. We're simply going to socket that into the back of the TXT box. All right, now that that's connected, the majority of trucks we'll be working on will be 6-pin or 9-pin. And that brings us to this cable. So this cable has your 6-pin, your 9-pin, and it has the OBD1, the really old style on it as well. You'll very rarely use this. So in order to make this work, you just simply take this end and plug it into the OBD2 connector. And now you have your 6-pin, 9-pin OBD1 and OBD2 setup. It also comes with a USB cable. You do not need this at all. This is strictly just for backup purposes in case we have a Bluetooth problem or need something else to do with it. So the only last piece I'd like to cover here is this little guy here. This is the HASP key. This contains your security codes and all your information for your licensing on your unit. So this, you simply take the green cap off and on the side of the laptop, we do have a USB port right here and you just plug it in. We do also have two more USB ports on the back of the laptop as well. So should you need some extra accessories to connect, there's more than plenty of room to do that. So I encourage you to watch the rest of the training videos where we'll be covering all the things you need to know about how to get in, navigate, connect, and troubleshoot. And we really appreciate you watching. Thank you.